Hello, how are you today? Alright, so today you have signed up for our sneak peek of the aquarium, is that right? Okay. Yes, this is a nice convenient service that we have started providing as people were showing interest in um, asking questions and just sort of um, wanting to get a little more information about the facility. So we thought it would be nice if we could talk one-on-one -on -one with anyone who's interested and give you a little more assistance with planning your trip. Okay. So, can I ask, have you um, ever been to our aquarium before? Okay. Have you ever visited any aquarium? Okay. And have you already made your travel plans? Okay, well, um, I can also help you with that. Since you haven't already made plans, I uh, have a lot of information. First of all, about our uh, facility specifically, so I can assist you or give you information on um, your travel plans, um, your transportation, if you need any accommodations, um, with parking, the surrounding area, um, any other types of entertainment that you might be interested in, and really anything else. I'll be happy to help you. Okay, so um, I think that uh, the best way is for me to, I will share my screen with you we have a recorded uh, virtual tour of the aquarium. Now it is just a sneak peek. So this in this presentation, um, I believe you will see a lot of our fish, um, some of the other aquatic animals. I believe that this guide will take us through some of the reptile area and we'll see some jellyfish, I believe. And um, let's see, well, we'll just have a look. So I am going to share my screen when you get the invite, just um, accept it and we'll have a quick look. I believe it's about 50 minutes. Is that all right with you? Okay. So, um, and then after the uh, tour is complete, um, we can talk again, and if you have any questions, or if you decide you want to purchase tickets, or if you need any more information from me, we can discuss that after the presentation, okay? So I am going to share my screen with you so you can just sit back and enjoy. Okay, so we'll start with some of the fish that you might see. So as you might imagine, they do make up the largest part of our exhibits here in the facility. They are located in many different areas all throughout the aquarium. So let's have a look at some of the fish that you might see in any of the tanks all throughout our facility. Alright, so right here you might see a gray angelfish, an Atlantic tarpon, a brown Chromis, a queen triggerfish. You might also see the sargassum triggerfish and the black durgeon. And we also have 
some four-eyed butterfly fish. You might also spot a spot fin butterfly fish, as well as a French angelfish. Okay, moving along. We also have some Atlantic spade fish, the green moray, the creole wrasse, and you might also find a fish called a high hat. The jackknife fish might also be swimming around in there, and the spotted drum. The dusky squirrelfish, as well as the long spine squirrelfish. And in this display, you might see a doctor fish, the ocean surgeon, the blue tang surgeon. You might see a fish called the look down. And another called the smallmouth grunt, the French grunt. We also have a fish called the porkfish, as well as the Atlantic creole fish. Now moving on to our jellyfish display, we have a very interesting jellyfish room that I'm sure you'll enjoy. And in this room you might see a moon jelly, the pink comb jelly, the ladies comb jelly, the lion's mane jelly, as well as the Atlantic sea nettle. So, our jellyfish gallery is a very popular attraction. The room is filled with all of these majestic floating jellyfish, of which we have many different varieties. So, this type of jellyfish is called an upside-down jellyfish. It spends its time pulsing upside down in the ocean. All right, so over in this display, you might find the toothless catfish, the sooty grunter, and another fish that's called a spotted scat. You might also find a golf Saratoga and another fish called the Long Tom. Now over here, you might come across the Lesser Salmon Catfish or the Mary River Turtle. The Silver Cobbler Catfish, or possibly the Barramundi, or the Broad Shelled Turtle, the Pig Nosed Turtle, Irwin's Turtle, and the Banded Rainbow Fish. Okay, now here you might find lots of different species together. Here you might see the Australian King Parrot, as well as the Northern Australia Snake-Necked Turtle. 
You might see the broad shelled turtle or this one down here that's called a yabby. Okay, we do have some crocodiles. This one is called a Johnston's crocodile. And some more turtles. This one is the northern red-faced turtle. Or you might find the northern yellow-faced turtle. And here is a southern snapping turtle. And another fish here that's called a western rainbow fish. Okay, this is a snake, and this one is called the Plains Death Adder. And in this display, you might also find the Inland Bearded Dragon, or possibly the Shingleback Skink. And down here is a spiny-tailed monitor, along with the knob tail gecko. All right, you might enjoy looking at our bird population. This one here is the wonga pigeon. And you might also spot the mulga parrot or possibly the blue-faced honey-eater. And some more turtles over here. This is the pig-nosed turtle. And down below, we have the red-bellied, short-necked turtle. Lots of different turtles. Here is the saw-shelled snapping turtle. And this is the Australian lungfish. And here is the black tandem catfish. So many interesting things to see here. There's more birds. This is the fawn-breasted Bowerbird, and below that you might find the laughing kookaburra or the pied imperial pigeon. You might also find a cockatiel or possibly the wonga pigeon. Now throughout the aquarium you will see lots of different informational boards here. This one is all about the wetlands and you'll see a little bit of information about wetlands and different efforts to preserve these areas in the environment. And this one here is all about how the forests support streams. And these informational plaques are located all throughout our aquarium uh, in spots along your travels, looking at all of the different animals. So another animal you might see is the yellow-headed Amazon parrot. Very beautiful bird. Talking all about the features of this parrot, which are mostly about the colors included on his feathers.
And here is just another image of some more fish you might see. It's a beautiful, vibrant fish. And this one is called a yellow tang. And these fish are often called the lawnmowers of the sea. And here is another interesting animal you might come across. This is the green moray. And a little fact about green morays, you see here that they have poor eyesight. So, our most popular attraction by far is the Shark Gallery. So, our shark habitat has many different types of sharks. Some are much larger than others. So, just to name a few of the different types of sharks that we have, well, you might find a zebra shark or a leopard shark, a white shark, or the sandbar shark, and we also have a hammerhead shark. So, you might enjoy to simply watch these beautiful animals as they pass closely by you, behind the glass, of course. But if you are daring enough, you might want to get up close and personal with some of our smaller shark species. So these smaller sharks have been specially chosen for our guests to touch with the assistance and guidance of our trained staff members. You might also enjoy watching the action when it's feeding time for our shark friends. Now this one here is probably my favorite part of the aquarium, the majestic seahorse. So the seahorse display might be easily missed as we only have one small tank dedicated to the few seahorses that we care for, so be sure to seek them out. We're sure that you won't regret it. So just a little fun fact about seahorses. Uh, seahorses actually prefer to swim in pairs with their tails linked together. And here's just another image of some of the fish that you might find swimming around in our tanks. These fish are of a larger variety. So one of our larger sized fish is the black grouper. And just a little fact about black groupers. Uh, this type of fish can grow to be more than four feet long and can weigh up to an amazing 170 pounds. Okay, so let me disconnect here. So were you able to see the whole presentation? All right. And did you enjoy it? Yes. 
Uh, so there is so much more uh, to see if you do come in uh, and check out all of our animals that we have here. Yeah, so you could expect to be here for a couple of hours, I would say. It depends on your preference and how long you spend at each exhibit. And it also depends on um, the day that you come, depending on um, how many other people are in the facility. Of course, it's normally less crowded during the week, and the time of day also matters. So we are open until 6 p.m. during the week, and until 5 p.m. on the weekends. Okay. Yes, that's my favorite part of the facility as well, but there is definitely much more for you to see. So can I assist you with purchasing tickets today? Okay. All right, I will help you with that. I am so glad that you enjoyed you enjoyed that little tour. Let's get you those tickets. Do you know which day you would like to come in? Okay, let's see. Alright, that's a good day. And how many tickets would you like to purchase? Would you like to reserve a time slot? They go by the half hour. So we have all day available right now for that day. Yes, uh, the aquarium opens at 10 a.m. Okay. All right. There we go. And... Would you like to purchase parking passes? So parking passes are $10 for the full day per car. And um, if you purchase those passes now, you will get a 10% discount. Okay. And how many vehicles will you be parking in the lot? All right, just one. We will add that to your cart. Okay. And now would you also like to purchase a meal pass? So that would be purchased per ticket sold. And it allows you to get a drink and a full lunch meal in our cafeteria. All right. And how many of those passes would you like? One for each. Okay. Now, let's see. All right. So that's all we need to get you into the aquarium. Did you need any assistance with anything else for the surrounding area? Like I said, um, accommodations, transportation. Okay. 
Well, I can also email you with that information in case you change your mind. Okay, can I please have your email? Okay. Okay, now can I please have your first and last name? email will be sent to you. Alright, so just keep in mind that your tickets are non-refundable. However, if for whatever reason you find that you aren't going to be able to make it to the aquarium on the day that you have purchased your tickets for, your tickets can easily be transferred to another day. You would just send us a quick email and we can adjust those tickets for you, okay? Alright, well thank you so much. I hope that um, I was able to help you with everything that you needed today. And please contact me if you have any more questions, okay? Alright, thank you so much.